I think it's time we build one of our pyro archons. And yes, I'm saying one of them. The other one is number four. As a reminder, perfecting my account is a series where I pick one character and I focus an entire month on just building them. I try to give them the best weapons, artifacts, max out their talents, give them the best stats that I possibly can, and basically try to make them perfect. Let me show you what she's looking like for now. She is level 79 out of 80. These are her stats. I think she's looking really good, but that's because she doesn't have a four-piece set. R5, the catch, artifact. Ideally, I want to switch it to be four-piece emblem. For now, she has a two-piece. Let's go through all of them. This is her flower. Really good, honestly. Feather. Even with the death percent, it's still amazing. Sands. Again, really good. <laughs> Pyro damage bonus goblet. And then a crit rate circlet. Again, amazing. She really does have good substats, but I just wanted that freaking four piece emblem set. <laughs> Constellations, she is C1. And talents 188. I want to crown her burst and probably get Goba to level 9. I honestly don't even think we're gonna need to work that much on her. We're probably gonna focus mainly on her artifacts. But let's go and test her damage. What if we did a melt test with Risley? I'm gonna hold on, delete the other two characters so that we don't get any other buffs from them. Melt test? and then also Shenling Soul. Masanori, oh wait, let me change the time to the night. First, the Goba Solo. Goba, get them! Yeah, get them. 4,000... 4,650 <laughs> seems to be max, but just in case, let's check again. Yeah, I think 4,650... Oh my! We're gonna try her burst solo. No, don't, don't... I guess I didn't really say why I want to test her in a melt team, because this is the team that I mainly use her. I use her with Risley. Okay, I'm gonna apply Cryo on Masanori with Risley, and now we're gonna do Goba. Oh, 11,000! Did you see? That was good. I think 13,000? I think you can start by leveling her up. Hold on, let me see. How many boss drops do I have for Shanling? Where is she? I almost... Oh, you know what? So basically, one more time, we do the boss run and we should be fine. Yeah, I have started farming a couple of days ago, these boss drops, because I was like, what's the point of me recording them if the boss fight is so easy? <laughs> see, like, we're done in a few seconds. All the drops. Oh... Doesn't it just hurt to see these kinds of artifacts with great substats and then the main stat is this? <laughs> we have already all of her boss drops. I don't know about the slime concentrate and also these uh, gem something thingies. Oh yeah, I definitely have a lot of that. <laughs> we can make quite a few. And now when it comes to the crystals... Oh, I can make only one. Hold on, we need four more, so four times three, that is twelve. Yep. I also don't know if I have enough Mora for that. I'm truly trying my best to farm Mora every single day, but I somehow always run out. Let's ascend. Okay, that is great. And now, honestly, we can move straight to Talent. I already was thinking about this because I've noticed that I'm very slowly running out of crowns. I only have six crowns left and I don't know when we're gonna have a next event that's gonna give us crown. So I need to start sparing them a little bit. So we're gonna try to crown her birds and then get Goba to level 9. I would normally probably crown Goba if I could, but I feel like I need to start saving up crowns because I don't have enough crowns for all the characters I want to crown. I already pre-farmed a little bit. We can already bring Goba to level 9 and see how much we need for crowning her first. This is level 9. How much more do I need? I need 4 
five more books, sorry. One more slime. Oh, I don't have to farm this then. Well, I feel like this episode is gonna be short then. <laughs> I did not expect that I have all the books. I mean, I did start farming them, but I didn't realize that I'm gonna have enough already. But that's good. That means we're gonna have more time to possibly farm artifacts. <sighs> it's gonna hurt my wallet, my virtual wallet in the game so much. <laughs> Let's crown. Now we can move on to artifacts. Considering how that her artifacts are so freaking good, I think that the only artifact that in my opinion could potentially be changed to something better is probably her circlet. So if we could get an on-set crit for circlet, that would also mean that we will have a four-piece set. But again, it could be difficult because this circlet is already really good. She just has one of the best artifacts I have in the game. And so I would feel really bad getting rid of any of them. Because essentially the only two artifacts we can change is either her goblet or her circlet. But again, this one, really good. This one is amazing as well. I don't know if we're gonna be able to, but we will try. Thankfully, we now have emblem set and strong box. First things first, I already want to go and farm one more ley line so that I have it completed for today. Let me get the friendship team as always. One more ley line per day keeps uh, sadness away. Definitely. <laughs> Maybe I need to actually do more than just one ley line daily now that I think about it. Because I feel like that's not enough. Subset wise, crit rate for damage, and then probably equally attack percentage, energy recharge, and elemental mastery. Oh no, I will die if I don't do something. I am only worried that I'm not gonna have that good of substats that I have right now. So I don't know if it will be worth it to force a set, but we will see, hopefully. I can always use these artifacts for other characters. And also we can try to strong box a little bit since emblem is finally in the strong box. But that we will do only if necessary. Honestly, ever since Dendro came out, I have stopped really coming to this domain. It feels like I haven't been here in so long. Which is really weird because I feel like this used to be the domain that everyone was spending their eternity in. Oh, that's a good artifact, but I wish that it was on emblem sets. It's fine though. I don't really need good pieces from that other set, unfortunately though. Ah, uh, why are they all looking? like that and then from this set we have pieces like this that are potentially really good okay i'm gonna farm some mora though because i have gotten a little bit up with my mora i think i have four million but let's be honest i'm gonna run out of it so fast if i don't farm it Mora has been acquired and I am gonna run away from these guys. I think we still have a few days left to farm artifact. I actually don't remember exactly what is the day we want to finish farming because I usually have a sticky note with a date when I start doing a certain episode, but I think I actually got rid of the one that I have written. When did I post my previous episode? I have posted it on the 19th. Today is the 7th of the so I think we can safely assume that we have like, I don't know, what, 10 days maybe? Okay, so we still have a lot of time. That's good. Oh? Order oh? <laughs> Did she just say, oh? <laughs> I actually want to check. Is, is his line when he gets a big hit to just, oh? Low HP, fallen, heavy hit taken. Not bad. Oh, then what was that? Oh, mister. Now I'm questioning my sanity. Did he actually just say, oh? Oh? I don't know. Um, I mean, if it rolled a crit stat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, see, I always get good pieces from Shimanawa. It's never emblem. It's always Shimanawa. <laughs> oh, Shimanawa. And of course, we have two defense pieces. Mm. Can I get some emblem pieces now? Okay, we have not good circlets. 
not good goblet and a terrible sense i actually i don't know how many characters we have left for this series oh three emblem pieces finally electro damage nah oh attack sense i mean i wish it had a crit stat okay this one has crit stat but like <laughs> the other flat stats are not what i'm looking for Oh no, nah, I hate when that happens. Okay, let's level something up. We have... I want to leave emblem pieces for later. How about we level that flower up that we have gotten? I don't really need it, but uh, maybe. The last set could be energy recharge or attack percentage and I'll be very happy. I am not very happy. Don't do that to me. Great. Um, uh, I don't really feel like leveling it anymore. Crit damage, but uh, the substats are not good. I wish this was a crit rate circlet. We really need a crit rate circlet. Oh, yikes. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> no, that is not what I wanted to click. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta... Okay, and now... Okay, two circlets. Not looking so good. What is this one? Also not looking good. Are they the same? Basically. Okay. It's the last day of farming for Shenling, so let's go one last time to the domain. I think I have two condensed resin that I want to use. And then we're gonna just roll the artifacts that we got and potentially go for strongbox because I don't think I got a single crit rate on set circlet, which is my main issue. This is what I want to get the most. Not even the right set. You know, that's a cryo damage bonus, not a bad one. <laughs> Maybe this time something on set. Oh, okay. Not, not that I want the flower, but it is a double crit. Let's roll. I think you can start off from pieces that are not on set. So goblet and circlet. I don't think I'm gonna have anything here really. Animal, dendro, 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 dendro again. And then how about here? That is not a good circlet. Uh, okay, fine. We're gonna still roll it. The last stat, obviously crit damage. If not, I'm literally not even gonna level this artifact and we're just gonna strongbox. Oh, yep, definitely strongboxing. I am not dealing with double defense. Okay, so how about this? We check out if we have artifacts that have four good stats that I want. And then we can try to roll it. Four good stats. This only has two. No. Okay, this could potentially have four stats that we like if crit damage would be the last one. No, defense percent. So, I mean, I'm gonna keep this maybe for someone else, but not for Shan Ling. Because we need something that is actually gonna be better than what she has right now. If we want to switch it. You saw what kind of artifacts she has. She has a really good one, so... Uh, same thing with Feather, I guess. This has four good stats. It doesn't have any crit rate, but it could potentially roll really well. Because it has four amazing stats. Um, okay, you know, do I have any sacrifice piece that I could throw? Yeah, I do. I do have some old emblem. Let's see. Mm, not a single crit damage roll? Okay, I don't think that's that good of a piece. This, it could be better than the one that we have, actually. Even if it doesn't have four stats that we like. Oh, with Shen Ling, I can be so greedy. I can literally be like, mm, yeah, this is not good enough of a piece for me. <laughs> Are you serious? We're gonna roll to level 8 just to see. I'll not hesitate in throwing this out if it doesn't roll any crit stat right now. Okay, this one maybe. Last stat, ER, because my Shanlin definitely does not have enough ER, even when I run her with Benny. Okay, no. I'm gonna keep this piece, but I'm not gonna use it on her specifically, because I want the best of the best pieces, okay? I would theoretically be could get better sand, <laughs> now that I look at it. Because again, we have amazing substats, but it could roll better. I'm gonna try. Big sacrifice piece, please. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Crates? Nice. If not for Shanling, I can always give it to someone else. Theoretically, crit value is bigger here than here, but this has ER, which is very important for me when it comes to Shenling, and also more EM. I don't know, I feel like this piece is still better. 
so I guess we're going straight to Strombox. Well, this was easy. I spent a month farming Emblem and didn't really end up getting anything. See, this is what happens when you have like a character that you have had a build for a really long time and now you're trying to perfect them because you want things that are not existent in this game, aka good artifacts. I am aiming for preferably a crit rate circlet. That would be the easiest to switch up. Okay, we have three circlets. We're gonna look at them last. No, no. Mm -mm. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, that's an HP sand. Isn't that like a really good yellow piece? I don't have yellow, but that's a really good one. Circlets. Attack. Crit. Ah, uh, why, why is the crit rate looking like this? Oh, no, 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 no. I am not gonna settle for this kind of piece. I'm greedy and I will be greedy. But we're getting so many flowers, but I really don't need good flowers. Oh. A cryo damage. Not a bad one. I definitely could use some nice cryo damage bonus. Oh, that's a good ER. I definitely could use some cryo damage for Risley and also Aika in the future. If it was the opposite, crit rate with a crit damage. I don't even want to look at all those other pieces. They're not bad. It's just that I have so many good emblem pieces at this point. Okay. Really? I wish you could choose what main stat do you want on an artifact. Like you could choose that, okay, I want the strong box uh, circlets that have crit rate main stat. It is one thing to get the main stat that you want, but a whole other thing to get substats that you want. Substats are just a emotional roller coaster. Oh, another really good feather. No. And no again. Oh no, come on, don't be- No, <laughs> what if my perfecting Xiangling is gonna end up me completely not changing anything except for giving her a crown? Because <laughs> I will not end up getting any new artifacts for her. I'm gonna be so upset if that happens. Come on, please. One circlet only. What if we get a pyro damage bonus before we're gonna get a crit rate circlet on set? A healing bonus. Oof. This is how all of my animal damage bonus couplets look like, no matter the set. Oh, max rolls as well. Hold on, we might roll this actually. Crit rate. Oh my god, if the last one would be crit damage, this actually could be a good piece. Hold on, we have something to roll. We have a feather and a circlet. Let's see that feather. Wait, did we get two? No, I'm confused. We did get two. Hold on, so how about we roll this one first because it has four stats. And you know, there are higher chances of rolling into crit stats more. I don't think I've ever had an artifact like that, I will admit. Goodbye, it was not nice knowing you. Wait a minute. EM as the last stat as well? This this has all the right stats, I don't know what to tell you. If it rolled one more into... I don't know, crit rate or crit damage? Any, any of them, honestly. No, not E... Oh, oh. That was such a good piece, though. The one that I have is better. Please. <sighs> no, that is not what I asked for. Do we have any other circlets? We can't... No, we, we don't. I guess we're gonna continue strongboxing. Didn't expect it. Oh, okay, four circlets. Ooh, 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 that's a nice one. Okay, not that I need it right now, but in the future, the circlets for last. Crit damage with crit rate, okay. No, a crit rate, I mean, if maybe, and an HP. Let's see if at least one of them is gonna be useful. Crit damage is the last. Perfect, and a max roll as well. I think that this artifact requires a sacrifice, like this one. Crit damage rolls. Um, okay. Maybe one more crit damage roll? Do it for me. I got something. It's, um, not necessarily better than what I have, but this one at least is on set. So, yeah. I can still check that other one, the crit damage one we have. Let's see. EM, okay, it's not too bad. So let's try to roll it a bit further. 
You've rolled into only flat stats? That doesn't even look like it. it's level 20. So this is what our Shenling is gonna look like. I think she does look really good stat-wise, but I really, really would want her to have a bit more ER because I'm always struggling with that in Abyss. But this is her crit ratio. EM. Weapon R5 to catch. Let's go through artifacts. Flower. Feather. Sand. Goblet and her circlet ironically enough the circlet is the worst artifact out of them all but i feel like it's still a really good one and let's go to the showcase after i'm pretty sure i tested her solo damage and then i just a little bit of melt with risley so let us see show me oh you didn't create goba Four thousand, five thousand, five thousand two hundred might be the highest. But then let's do the burst. Do not block this, please. Seven thousand five hundred. Yeah. Now we have to check the melts. So we're gonna apply some cryo and check. Wait, we did twelve thousand. Twelve thousand. We're gonna check the burst now. I need to apply cryo again. Oops, let's see. 14,000. Thank you, Mr. Masanori, for your service. And see you next month. It was quite challenging for me to improve Shenling, considering that she already had really good stats before we even started this episode. But somehow we did manage to make her even better. And I'm really happy about that and also excited to start using her in the Abyss with Risley in the Melt team.